strap, I got four cars and they all black Got four bras and they all that, we call that Ballin', doing this is my calling. Flow is so appalling My phone off and she calling. I'm like, yeah What it do? Welcome back today guys to the channel back here Forza Motorsport 7 uh, with a little bit of a different video now if you guys were fans of the channel back on Forza Horizon 3 uh, we did a really great series with the wheel spins where we would be looking for the Forza Horizon edition cars and we did quite a few episodes of those you guys really enjoyed that series and I figured we would come back on Forza 7 and pretty much do the exact same things with the mystery crates now uh, we have 15 total crates for today we have the lucky car crate we have the lucky driver gear crate and the large mystery crate five of each to open This is upwards about three million dollars worth of crates I've said to many people don't open these crates man. I, I've heard nothing but bad stories So hopefully we get our money's worth for today's episode ladies and gentlemen If you do want to see more crate openings on the channel, don't forget to slap that like button I'm kind of deciding which one to open first. Now, if you guys have been opening crates, I'd love to see your best pulls on Twitter. Slap underscore train. Send them over. Uh, I didn't end up grabbing any of the ones at the bottom. I just went for the top ones that were here. Picked up five of each. And uh, let's start off with the large mystery crate, man. I have no, I've yet to see anybody even open these crates yet. So I'm hoping uh, that, you know, we get something good, man. Chance for a super rare item guaranteed four items that may include cars, driver gear, mods, and badges. Now, to be honest with you, I need mods. That was the whole reason why I kind of did this as well, too, is that I'm pretty much out of mods for my driver's cup. So I'm praying we get something good right now, man. Come on. Give me something good. We got a blue, we got a purple, we got another Chevelle. I do own that already. Award badge, rare, performed six good passes, and team Forza Pink. Okay, well, uh, wasn't the greatest. What is this here? What, it just, award badge. Oh, it's just a badge. Okay. We got dice. Cool. Uh, getting around, performed six good passes. That's going to give us 60% credits boost and 1,000 XP. That's actually not bad at all. And then the Chevelle, which we already do own. I don't think that actually gives us a collector value score, even if we own the car. So uh, in that case, I'm going to go ahead and sell the vehicle just because I already have a Chevelle. Uh, we sold that some bid right there. Okay. Uh, can we sell this? We cannot. Uh, we can sell this one for 8,500. That's actually quite a bit. And uh, Team Forza Pink is just free. Okay, so we're going to go ahead. Large mystery crate, one down. Let's move over to the lucky driver gear crate. Chance for a legendary driver gear, car, driver gear, and badges guaranteed. Man, guaranteed, they say. How many cards do you get in this one, though? The crate looks bigger, though. Correct me if I'm wrong. It does. We got a couple greens. Okay, award badge. We got some sneaks. Place fifth or better. Okay, 65 Ford Mustang GT Coupe, which I do already have. Uh, no, actually, you know what? I don't have that, so we're going to go ahead and take that, add that to the collector score, and then we also got the Road Atlanta driver gear. Well, it got its start carved out of a farmer's field, Road Atlanta has grown to attract some of the best North American race series, and it's home to the Petit Le Mans endurance race. Uh, that's really cool, the fact that they actually give you a description about the car. I really do enjoy that, uh, considering, uh, you know, I've always said they need to put in more info into these games. They have so much at their disposal in terms of you know engine specs you know car detail specs that they really leave out a lot of those really cool details and the fact that they're throwing those on i do like that man we're gonna move on over to the lucky car crate chance for a legendary car car driver gear mods badges guarantees is that not the same thing what is that it's the same shit gear Chance for a legendary driver gear. Oh, legendary car this time. Okay, so this one's driver gear. This one's a car. I just got to read the crate, right? Man, I'm an idiot. I'm sorry. We're going to go ahead and open this one up. Seems like we have the same amount of cards per crate. Uh, night race. Race at night. I'm not a big fan of. We got the badge. Homestead. Give me a oh, 55 Porsche. That sells for 122,000 credits, man. 1955 Porsche 550 Spider. Homestead gear, originally inspired by the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, this track found its own racing glory by hosting NASCAR championship races. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, and then the race at night for 30%. We can sell that. We can sell the driver's gear. I'm actually really surprised on that. But we can go ahead and take our Porsche to our collection. Let's just keep going from right to left. It's backwards from English. I don't care, man. Here we go. Large mystery crate. Number two. Give me something good, man. Please, right now. Come on now. I just need some good mods. Ooh, we got a grenade. That's pretty cool. Pylon. Uh, performed four perfect passes. And we got a Formula E, man. That is nice. Collector number nine. 
325 on that 2017 Formula E. That's a rare car as well. 90 grand if we want to sell it. Now, to be honest with you, I already have a Formula E. So I'm debating, do I want to sell this car and take the money and walk? And you know what? I'm going to do it, man. I'm so sorry. I'm doing it. All right, I'm doing it. It's sold. It's gone. 472000 I'm trying to make some money back, man. You know, I, I didn't want to spend all of it, uh, but looks like we almost kind of did. So we're trying to uh, just keep this going as much as possible here. I'm not trying to go broke, man. That's all I'm saying. Lucky Driver Gear Crate number two. Let's see what we get here, man. Here we go. Ward badge. We got some pistons. Uh, normal steering. Ooh, goddamn. Firefighter Black. That looks fire right there also got the 2017 porsche panamera turbo great car as well 515 on the collector score we can sell that for 142k oh man that's a super rare holy shit you know what i may just keep that then if that's a super rare right i mean okay firefighter black looks sick we're gonna go ahead and equip that right now and oh man that's a big decision right now do i want to sell it or keep it you know what? I think that'd be a nice little build at one point in time. So we're gonna go ahead and keep that, add that into our collector score. Lucky car crate number two, man. Here we go now. Please give me something. God damn it, man. I'll take a Viper. You know, that's fine with me. Ward badge, place fifth or better. Sir of the Americas and a '79 BMW Motorsport M1 Pro car, man. That is fire. That's a beautiful car as well. Sir of the Americas utilizes the lay of the land to create sweeping views for spectators while giving racers a collection of some of the most famous corners in racing. That's awesome that we got the suit. I was there at Coda, man. Incredible experience. Met a lot of YouTubers over there and also got to go on the track, got a ride along, got to watch the race that night. Uh, and that was with uh, the Forza Fuel experience that we went down there with. And that was just absolutely incredible. If you do remember those videos, well, uh, let me know in the comments how long you've been sub for, man. Because that was quite some time ago. It definitely was. We're going to keep that Beamer, add it to the collection. Let's go back on over to our far right crate here. And let's see what we pull, man. I just want some mods. Come on now. Okay, man. We'll hang 10. I see you. Starting grid position 18. We got a Honda one. Hell yeah. You guys know I love my Hondas. Improved race reward, 60% credit bonus. We can use that once, unfortunately. Uh, this one's three times. Starting grid 18th uh, and finish in first for a 50% bonus. Okay, that's not too bad. Not the best crate. Uh, you know, it was okay. Let's see what we get with this one here. Lucky driver gear. And I'd like to know down below, do you think these crates are worth the cash, man? Let me know down below. We got a 70 Alfa Romeo and another Firefighter Black. But because we already owned it, we got a hundred grand. Holy shit. That's nice. Okay. I find it very funny that we pulled back to back firefighters though. God damn. We can also sell this for 57 grand considering the fact that, well, um, I don't really care for that thing too much. I mean, I mean, it's a beautiful car. I'm not saying it's not. I'm just saying I just don't want this right now in my garage. That's all I'm saying. We're going to go ahead and sell the thing. 57K. Form four good drifts for 60% bonus, man. That's not a problem. Lucky driver gear crate. That was actually not bad. That one. Oh, we got an achievement. What'd we get? Playing with a full deck, acquired 50 mods. Well, big thank you on that. Now that crate, we didn't really make up our cash on that, unfortunately. We haven't really done that on any of these crates. Uh, however, though, the cars that we are getting probably are worth uh, quite a bit. Southwest Sunset, that's actually really nice. Award badge, burnout. Sim oh shit, we got another car. What is that? 2011 Lamborghini Gallardo LP 574. Super Legera, man. That is beautiful. 595 on the collector score. Big thank you. Whew, that's just, just, just climb. It's climbing, man. That's a beautiful machine, though. Simulation, fuel and tire damage. Reach at least 150 miles an hour for 60% credits and XP with 1,000. Not bad. And we got a damn turbo. That's really cool. We may go ahead and equip that. And the dry desert air carries the sound of your engine for miles. That's a really cool suit. I'm thinking about just throwing that on for right now. Let's just go ahead and try it out. Okay. Large mystery crate. Here we go. We'll be getting, man. We'll be getting. These are kind of addictive. I'm not going to lie, man. Grid position down 10. Perform six purple passes. Oh, we got Rose and Black Ninja. We already have that. So we're going to get 30K for doing so. Big thank you on that there. Uh, tough spot. Starting grid 20. Finish in first place. 60% cash. Not bad at all. We can sell those. I'm not going to worry about those, man. I'm keeping those, man. Told you I needed mods at the start of this episode. Uh, here we go. Ward badge. We got a little damn spark plug. 
breaking master ABS off. We got a damn KTM Expo. Not bad. Uh, I mean, uh, I'm not I'm not too thrilled about it, but I'll take it though for the collector score. Uh, we got Dancer. The 2-2 is on back order. Well, that's bullshit. I thought we were getting the 2-2 with her. I'm just kidding. Uh, okay, so with that being said, throw that in the collector score. Uh, Lucky Car Crate, man. These are exciting because honestly, we're getting some decent cars on here. At least, you know, for some rare cars, and that is nice, that suit. Before Dawn, Ward Badge. Ooh, give me that damn level 10. Big thank you on that shit. Ooh, 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 kill him. Look at that. Rio de Janeiro, that's actually not bad. 2010 Chevrolet, number 55, level 5 motorsports. <sighs> that's nice. We can sell that for 212 if we wanted to. You know what? We're probably going to need that for the Drivers' Cup at some point, so I'm going to go ahead and keep that. We already own that, so we don't get to sell it? No? Okay, cool. And before Dawn, that is actually really nice. Oh, shit. Okay. Do I want to equip that now? You know what? I'm going to equip it. All right, we have one crate left for each, man. This was actually a lot of fun. If you guys do want to keep seeing these, like I said, make sure you guys go ahead and slap that like button. Just drive. Oh, my God. We already own that. Circuit de Spa, Frank Shaw, and oh, that was a shit damn pack. Oh my god, super rare. How is that super rare? Why is that super rare? I, I have no idea. Circuit de Spa, La Source, Et Rouge. I, I can't read French, I'm sorry. They're here to welcome you, test you, make you, or break you, man. Definitely true. Team Four is a red. We're honored you're on our team. Big thank you. And Just Drive, uh, we received 30 grand because we already own that, so that's pretty cool to see that. Two left, man. Then there was two. We're going to save the lucky car crate for the final, man. Lucky driver gear crate. Let's see what we pull out of here, man. Here we go. Okay. Come on. Ooh, 70 Camaro. I'll take that. Hard pass. And pit crew. We got another 30 grams. We own that. Simulation steering perform eight perfect passes. Not bad at all. We're going to get 80% credit bonus. Big thank you. Three uses. And we got a set of glasses. Okay. Uh, we can sell the Camaro if we want. We're going to keep it for the collector score, though. And this is it, man. This has all come down to one lucky car crate. I need everybody right now. We did this on Forza Horizon 3. I need everybody to go ahead, slap that like button right now, and uh, give us a little bit of that extra push for this crate, man. I know you haven't done it yet. I'll sit here, man. I got a hot cup of coffee. I'm going to have a quick sip right now. Go ahead, slap that like button. Okay. Three, two, one. Turn 10, man. Please be looking down on me right now. Turn 10 gods, where you at right now? Where you at, please? Give me something good. Not great. Uncommon. Uncommon. Caterham. Oh, Lamborghini Huracan LP610-4. Not gonna lie. I will take a Lamborghini. Uh, mind you, it's only worth 160k. However, though, for the people saying, but how much does it actually sell for in the garage? And that is a great question. So, ooh, that's a fire suit, though, man. Look at that suit. That is actually sick. Okay, so if we go ahead to buy a vehicle, and let's see where that Uricon is, man. How much is that? That's a super rare, and it looks like, uh, can we even, oh, it's 320k. 320k for this Lamborghini. We bought that super rare crate for $300,000. So, you know, not bad. We got some additional things with it. So if you're really thinking about getting a higher end vehicle, maybe, just maybe, wait, right? I mean... And we also got the 550 Spider, which is valued at 245,000. So uh, we kind of went a little under on that one. We also received the Panamera. So let's see how much that is. 285 on the Panamera Turbo. However, though, where they locked is the question. Did we just pull that out of the crate? Because these have a different backing than some of the other ones did. So I'm curious if, um, or no, those are the ones that we own. Sorry. Okay. I'm, I'm a damn nub. I'm sorry. Right? We own those ones, but. Uh, definitely interesting to see here. Ladies and gentlemen, let me know your thoughts down below. Do you want to keep seeing more crate polls? If so, slap that like button. Let me know in the comment section down below. You guys follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All of which are found down below. And let me know your best poll, either in the comments or on Twitter. Chibota Slap Trade. I'm out.